Thank the Father for uh, uh, another Sabbath to gather with my brethren. Um, we are here to teach our people that we've been Israelites according to the Bible, according to history, according to archaeological evidence, and all that above. We are the biblical, historical Israelites according to the Bible. And it's time for our people to come back to the most high and obey his commandments. Uh-huh. What's that, sis? And it's, and it's time for our people to come back to the nationality of our uh, God, man, of our forefathers. And uh, we're going to start by, first off, exposing you wicked pastors. Because y'all did a lot of damage to our people, man. Look at our neighborhoods, look at our communities, how destroyed it is. Uh, you have destroyed our people, man. You have really misled our people. And the Lord is exposing y'all this day. That's why you got pastors like TD and all the rest of them being exposed, you know? Because the Lord is sick of you, man. Right. He's sick of you ruling, and he's sick of you deceiving your people. You know, you've been doing a, a good job, or a bad job, in, uh, in, in, in being a light to your people. You know what I'm saying? You've been doing a, a good job in misleading, and a bad job in uh, leading your people, man. Right. Because you have led our people astray. You know? That's why it says in uh, Jeremiah uh, 15 and 1, if you can get that. Oh, excuse me, 23 and 1. Look at Jeremiah, chapter 23, verse 1. Uh -huh. Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, saith the Lord. Uh -huh. The Lord said, woe be unto you pastors that scatter the sheep of the Lord's pasture, man. And you have scattered the Lord's sheep. That's why our people do not believe in the Bible anymore. That's why we offer every other religion or every other belief. We under every uh, thing under the, under the sun now, man, except our nationality, except our roots. And you pastor, you, you led us away from our roots. You led us away from the foundation of our forefathers. Now we offer to uh, Christianity, believing in this devil, man. And now our people often be in, um, in the LGBT community, being these sororities and fraternities, you know, just going straight the hell off, you know? Precept. Book of Jeremiah, chapter 10, verse 21. Uh -huh. Verse 21. For the pastors, so like it, for the pastors are become brutish and have not sought the Lord. Therefore, they shall not prosper, and all their flocks shall be scattered. Uh, the, hey, that's a precept to that, man. Saying that they should not prosper. And all their flocks shall be scattered, man. That's right. why we at the church now. You know? And look at T.D. Yeah, he, he prospered to the way, I mean, in a way. But at the end, he didn't prosper. Now the Lord got all the people out of his church now. He can't keep no members now, man. So much controversy going on with him. Now the believers that he had at heart, now they, they, they overthinking it now. Maybe they're saying, they saying to themselves now, maybe T.D. Jakes misled us. Maybe all of these pastors going on, you know, because you misled our people into lies and deception. And that's why the Lord is destroying you now, destroying your character, exposing you, you know, destroying your money now, because you're going to stop getting that money that you had before. People are going to stop buying those stupid philosophy books that you have. You know what I'm saying? Bring it out here. Book of Jeremiah, chapter 23 and verse 32. Behold. I am against them that prophesy false dreams, said the Lord, and tell them, and do tell them, and call my people to error by their lies huh. and their lightning. Yet I sent them not, nor commanded them. Therefore, I shall not profit this people at all, said the Lord. Huh. The Lord said He haven't sent you. You know, say the Lord haven't sent you prophets that prophesy your dreams and vision. I see money. I see a good life, prosperity to you always and all this other stuff. The Lord haven't chose you, pastors, man. You know what I'm saying? He haven't chose you. And that's why judgment is beginning with the house of Israel first. Because you have misled the Lord's people, man. You cause us to go off. You cause us to go uh, uh, go to horn. You cause our women not to be at home with their husbands. You cause our, uh, uh, cause our brothers to be homosexuals now. We going off. Uh, we gang bang against each other, you know. You pastors got a lot to pay for, man. Right. You pastors 
you Christian pastors, the Lord gonna judge you. You know, let's bring that out in the book of First Peter, chapter four and verse seventeen. The book of First Peter, chapter four, verse seventeen. Uh -huh. For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of God, and if it first begin at us, what shall the end of them that obey not the gospel of God? Uh -huh. So the scriptures say judgment must start at the house of God first. That means you Israelites. God going to judge you first, you wicked pastors. You know what I'm saying? For all your wrongdoing, man. You know, you're going to have to get that spanking. That's why the Lord judged uh, Teddy Long. That way he judged Clevelo, put him in jail. He going to judge you T.D. Jakes too. You know what I'm saying? And all you other pastors, you're going to get it. Right. Because that's the time. The time has come now, as the scriptures say, man. Right. This is the time when the Lord is going to judge your pastors, man. You understand that? Hey, brother, come over here to the truth, bro. Please, sir. Come, bring it out here. Book of Amos, chapter 9, verse 10. Yes, sir. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, Ooh. which say, the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. Come on. The Lord said that the, uh, the Lord going to judge all the sinners, man. He's going to judge you sinners. All you pastors, basically, you sinners, man, because you don't teach our people to keep the commandments. You don't teach our people the law. You go against God's law. You tell our people it's okay to eat pork, swine, lobsters. In fact, a lot of you pastors be a rare lobsters, man. You probably give out uh, groupons to, to your members, man. You probably give out uh, coupons to rare lobster on the weekend, man. You know, you pastors wicked. So the Lord gonna destroy you sinners, man. You know what I'm saying, for the things you done, man. Figure it out, King. Book of Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 26. Uh-huh. How long shall this be in the heart of the prophet that prophesied lies? Yea, they are prophets of the deceit of their own heart. Mm. Verse 27, which think to call my people to forget my name by their dreams, which they tell every man to his neighbor, mm. as the fathers have forgotten my name. Come, for, come, for man. Baal. Come. You know, that's, that's the, our people have a lot of philosophies, like the scriptures say. You know, Think about it. T.D. Jakes got what? Hundreds of books? Mm -hmm. I mean, he's he been making books since the 90s, man. Right. Giving his own damn opinion about every damn thing, man. And not thus said the Lord. You know? He big on that, man. T.D. Jakes, I remember when I was a kid, man. Went to Atlanta. And went to the underground. T.D. Jakes had a book sign. And me and my cousin, man, we go in there trying to, you know, shake his hand and everything. And the security guard told us, oh, no, no, no. Get back. We're doing a book sign. But we like shoe, man. My auntie watch you every week. Can we not shake the man's hand? You T D Jakes. Right. But his security guard pushed us back, man. Like he your high shot somebody, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like he got himself. Like we just some young brothers trying to shake another man, another black man hand. But yeah. that black man ain't want nothing to do with us, man. Yeah. Told us young brothers, you get back. Don't come over here. You know what, TD T D Jakes, man? Bump your stinking books. Yo, stupid philosophies, and we glad the Lord is destroying you, man. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? We glad the Lord is exposing you for who you are. Right. You know? We tired of you being getting away with murder for all these years, man, and misleading our people, especially our women. You know what I'm saying? They be catching you in gay marriages and all that crap, man. Right. That's what the Lord said. It's time for judgment to start with the house of God first, man. All right. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 22 and verse 27. Her princes in the midst thereof are like wolves, Ooh. ravening the prey, Come to on. shed blood and to destroy souls, Ooh. to get this honest game. Get this honest game, man. Those pastors are like ravening wolves. They destroying people's souls, man. They destroying the souls of so-called black people, the Israelites. You know? That's what T.D. Jakes do. That's what all these pastors do, man. They are ravening wolves against the people, man, to destroy the people's mind. To destroy our people mentality, our mindset. They misled us away from God, man. That's all your pastor is. Your pastor's a wolf and sheep clothing. He got a nice suit and them nice alligator shoes, but he misleading the people, man. Uh -huh. You know? Hey, what they say? Hey, instead of pipping hoes, he pipping souls, man. Bring it up. You know? That's what the pastor do. That's why these pastors gotta be exposed. And hey, that's what we're doing today, man. Right. Hey, you had your fun and misleading our people. You destroyed us, man. Hey, now the Lord, hey, he lifted the table up now. That's right. Hey, we coming to the tabernacle like Christ did. 
We lift up the table, man. Get away all that gambling and crap, man. Hey, uh, buying stuff inside the church, man. We can do away with that stuff now, man. That's right. We kicking the damn table over because you've been ruling too long, man, with your mischief, man. That's right. Making damn vain profit, as the scripture will say, man. Making profit off the people. That's all y'all good for doing, man. Making damn profit off the Israelites. But the Lord is sick of it now, man. Peace, sir. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 13, verse 22. Bring it out. Because with lies you have made the heart of the righteous sad. Come on. Whom I have not made sad. Woo! And strengthen the hands of the wicked. And strengthen the hands of the wicked, man. That's right. That he should not return from his wicked way. Come on. By promising him life. Come on. Therefore, you shall see no more vanity. Nor divine divination. Mm -hmm. For I will deliver my people Woo. out of your hand. Come on. And ye shall know that I am the Lord. That's and ye right. shall know that he is the Lord, man. The Lord is sick of your vanity, man. The Lord is sick of your false prophesying. Huh. The Lord is here to put you to rest in all your lives, man. That stuff is about to just be swept out the door, man. Because you have misled his people far too long, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Now the Lord, he's sick of you. He got, he got the media after you, social media. He got Cat Williams exposing you too. Everybody being exposed today, man. You know what I'm saying? Because you've been false prophesying to the people. Talk about they're going to be prosperous in this wicked land called Babylon the Great. But the Lord is sick of you and he's sick of Babylon. He about to destroy both of y'all, man. Huh. You know? So, okay. Look at Ezekiel, chapter 11, verse 2. Uh -huh. Then said he unto me, Son of man, these are the men that devise mischief mm. and give wicked counsel in this city. Woo. Which said... It is not near. Uh -huh. Let us build houses. This city is the cauldron, and we be the flesh. Therefore, prophesy against them. Mm. Prophesy, O son of man. Huh, oh, you hear that? Those wicked men get wicked counsel. T.D. Jakes and all the rest of you pastors have given wicked counsel to our people throughout this whole time, man. Yeah, that's right. Ever since that man been whooping and hollering on the pulpit, T.D. Jakes and many others have given out wicked counsel. And the Lord is destroying y'all, man. Uh. The Lord is lifting up the table, man. You know, he's sick of the lies. Right. He's it's time for our people, the real Israelites, to come back to their nationality, man. Right. You know, it's time out for all them games, TD, and the rest of you pastors, man. The Lord got a damn, he got a, a, a heat-seeking missile out for y'all, man. That's right. That's right. You know what I'm saying? And this is word, man. That's right. But we ain't supposed to you with it, man. Come. Let me, let me get three so far. Come. Yeah, I got to get one out. Yes, sir. It's about you. you know what I'm saying? That's the thing. Because you pastors, man, you have misled us too far too long, man. Look at our people, man. We don't know whether we coming or going. We don't know our nationality. Right. We don't know who our, uh, who our forefather was, who our who our great great grandfather was, right. what religion or what custom that we belong to. Teach. You know what I'm saying? We don't know that, man. Because of you wicked pastors, man, you misled us. Right. Now the Lord got to punish you now, man. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 5, verse 14. Yes, sir. Wherefore, thus said the Lord God of hosts, because ye speak this word, behold, I will make my words in thy mouth fire. What? Fire. fire. And this people would, Ooh. and it shall devour them. Come on. Now the Lord is using this word as a heat sinker missile on you, on you pastors and all you other nations too, man. Now y'all would, and the word of God is fire right now, man. That's right. He burning all y'all up, man. Exposing all y'all to ashes now, man. Now we see what y'all is. Y'all know some corrupt beast, man. That's all you are. You're the wicked of the earth. The Lord is exposing y'all for what the hell y'all doing to his people, man. That's right. And it's time out for that, man. It's time out for all the damn foolishness, Israel. Time out for listening to your pastor. Going back to them stupid Christian churches. It's time for you to come back to the Father and obey his commandments. That's why the Lord put that fire out here now, man. You know, using that word out here. That's right. You know what I'm saying? To burn up these lies and this deception, you know what I'm saying? And the vanity in this world. And the fake prophesying, uh, prophesy, man. All you fake pastors, that's all you do is fake prophesy to our people. Now the Lord burning you up with his word. Right. Book of Proverbs, chapter 19, verse 9. Uh -huh. A false witness shall not be unpunished, and he that speaketh lies shall perish. Huh. He that speak of lies shall perish. You know what I'm saying? T.D. Jakes and a lot of you pastors, 
You speaking lies, man. That's all you good for. That's all you known for. And I keep saying TD Kills, you know what I'm saying? They used to call them, well, the shit, they don't use it. They called them America's pastor. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like the brother saying about Bill Cosby, they called Bill Cosby at one time America's dad. Now the Lord has exposed both of them, man. Especially you, TD. You know? You got a lot to pay for, man. And all y'all do, man. That's why the Lord got us right now to set this thing back in order. The Lord got us right now to come back and make our people know on the earth. That's you know right. what I'm saying? Put back the standard on the earth okay. as we're supposed to, man. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 18, verse 2. Uh -huh. Arise and go down to the potter's house. Uh -huh. What? And, and go down to the potter's house. Oh, where, brother? And go, go down, down to, to the, the potter's, potter's house. house. Uh -huh. And there I will cause thee to hear my word. Woo! Man, that's a cut to you, TD. That's right. And all your stupid members, too, for following them, man. That's right. The Lord said, go down to the potter's house. And it ain't talking about hills. It ain't talking about hills, brother. <laughs> it ain't talking about your potter's house either, man. You know what I'm saying? The Lord said, go to his potter's house and tell them the word. You know what I'm saying? That's what we're doing today, man. Exposing you pastors, waking up our people, and getting them out that hell hole that you call the potter house, man. Preach up. Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 17. Really? The words of wise men are heard in quiet. That's right. More than the cry of him that ruleth among fools. Oh, say it one more time in case the people didn't hear that thing, man. Because that's a powerful scripture right there. Bring it out, King. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 9, verse 17. Right. The words of wise men right. are heard oh. in quiet more than the cry oh. of him that ruleth among fools. That's right. The word of quiet men is heard longer and louder than those who rule over fools because we're the quiet men. You know, the media doesn't uh, talk about us unless it's in a bad light. You know what I'm saying? Our people don't, we don't get this exposure. The Israelites, we don't get the exposure like everyone else. Right. You know what I'm saying? We're not on Necro TV. We're not on your local television or on your CBN station. You know what I'm saying? But, but we're gathering the people now, man. You know what I'm saying? The Lord is using us. We're the quiet ones on this earth, the ones nobody like to talk about. Right. Everybody like, oh, I don't want to talk about that, man. That's too much. You know what I'm saying? But the Lord is using us and putting us at the cream of the crop. If I can say that, you know? You know what I'm saying? And he tired of you loud mouth pastors that turn our people to fools. You got a congregation full of fools, full of arrogant people just like you. Right. You know what I'm saying? Go. But now the Lord is using us to get the elect, to gather his people, to gather the elect, so we can wake up and show our people the truth of this word, man. Right. Yeah, verse 18. Go ahead, read that. But in Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 18. Uh-huh. Wisdom is better than weapons of war. Say what? Wisdom, Wisdom is, is better than, than weapons of war. Hey, look, we don't need no weapons, man. That's right. We don't need no AKs. We don't need no uh, no missiles, man. We got the wisdom of the most high right here. Right. Right. Better than any weapon you got, Esau. Right. And better than any weapon you Jake's got in your car, in your uh -huh. trunk. Let us say you're gonna pop the trunk. Come out with AK, blow some man. Look, this is our weapon right here, man. Right. This Bible, man, this word, man. But one sinner destroyeth much good. Huh. One sinner, America's pastor. Uh oh. You know what I'm saying? Destroy that is good. Bring the last part out, King. Book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 9, verse 18. Uh huh. Wisdom. It's better than weapons of war. Right. But one sinner destroyeth much good. See that? See, you one sinner, all you pastors don't recognize you over a lot of these congregations. And you the one man in charge that everybody listens to that church. But you just destroy people, man, because of your false prophesy, because of your lies and your deception, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Your pastors, man, you go to any Christian church, you got the pastor. You got the deacon, you got the brother, you got the mother, the sisters, right? But you got one man up there talking. Why don't you pass to destroy a whole community, man? In every city, man. And T.D. Jakes, man, you're gonna destroy a lot of our people. Right. That's why the Lord can destroy you, man. That's why the Lord is doing it right now. And all you pass that love and protect them, and all you Jakes that say, it's okay for him to be a homosexual. <laughs> it's okay to be like that. The right. Lord gonna destroy you too, man. Yeah, right. That's right. 
book of Isaiah, chapter 5, verse 22. Yes, sir. Woe unto them that are mighty to drink wine, huh. and men of strong of strength to mingle strong drink, which justify the wicked for reward, Ooh. and take away the righteousness of the righteous from him. Come on, and that strong wine is all your lies of Christianity, man. Right. All your deception is, man. Now you ain't destroyed a whole community of people, man. And the ones that drink that wine, you uplift that man, man. Right. Thank you for thank you for giving me that strong drink to throw me off. Thank hey, thank you for putting some uh, uh, what's that? A little cocktail mix in my drink. A little yeah, the Amsterdam. The Amsterdam. A little, chaser. Amsterdam. A little chaser, You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Put a damn peel to fuck me up. Thank you. Excuse my language. Yeah, the so house like, liquor. The house liquor, right? Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, the house liquor. Yeah, thank you for uh, 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 messing up my drink, man. Give me that strong drink, man. Making me all foolish and drunk and all over the place. That's what you brothers and sisters say, man. That's what you say. But the Lord is exposing your wicked pastors this day, man. You know? He's exposing you pastors, and that's why y'all can't gainsay it now. That's why you Jakes ain't got nothing to say no more. A lot of you Christians don't even claim that religion Christianity no more, man. You know what I'm saying? The Lord is exposing y'all. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 10, verse 1. Uh-huh. Dead flies cause the ointment of the apothecary to send forth a stinking savor. So doth a little folly him that is in reputation for wisdom and honor. Come on, man. See, all your folly, all your deception has destroyed everything, man. You destroyed the standard of the Lord. And a lot of you pastors, you got to pay for that thing, man. You have destroyed the order. Now it's a stinky smell in the church, man. Every, that's why a lot of Jake don't want to come back to the Bible. Because they believe the Bible is associated with your evil church. Right. You know? They believe the Bible is associated with your evil religion. Right. Now young, young warriors and young lions, they say, man, the hell with the word, man. Right. I don't want no standards. I don't want no morals. I don't give a damn about the Christ, I mean, about that Bible. I want to do what the hell I want to do. And you look like the, like the scripture was saying, a lot of you pastors ain't nothing but dead flies, man. That's all you is, man. Messing up the word of the Lord, man. Messing up this truth. Come here, this word, King. Come. Bring it out, King. Book of Deuteronomy, chapter 18, verse 20. Uh -huh. But the prophet, which shall presume to speak a word in my name, which I have not commanded him to speak, uh -huh. or that shall speak in the name of other gods, even that prophet shall die. Even that prophet shall die. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Look, you prophets like to prophesy in the name of Jesus. You know? You don't use, you don't, you don't dare use no, no Hebrew letters, no Hebrew uh, uh, names in Jesus' name, in that, that Greek name. Now we know Yahweh Shai and, and Jesus in, in, in the Hebrew is Yahweh Shai. We understand that. But for you pastors that love to celebrate and honor those white, the, the white uh, worshiping gods that you worship. Because you don't dare call him a black man. Uh -huh. You don't mention that in your churches. Oh man, no matter what, what color he is, he, uh, he any guy. Uh -huh. That's why you, you pastors, man, you foul as hell. You ain't no dead flies, man. Right. That's all you is, man. Uh -huh. Bring it out, King. Book of Ecclesiastes, Sirach, chapter 1, skipping down to the middle. And it reads. For the same things uttered in Hebrew and translated into an, another tongue have not the same force in them. Woo! Say what, brother? They have not the same force in them. You ain't got the same power as when you use it in the Hebrew. Calling him Jesus and Jesus and got a congregation going off. Because they looking, listen, when they say Jesus, they looking at that white man. That's right. They looking at that, that man, that hobo with the long stringy hair and blue eyes to be their savior. Now, now think about the Hebrew man that was Yahweh Shai, the black man, you know, according to history. You know, so you're not thinking about that man when you don't use Hebrew, you know. At least call his by his name, you know. But you pastors wicked as hell, man. Right. That's why the Lord got us out here today, set up the standard and the order, the way it's supposed to be done, man. Bring that out in the book of, oh, excuse me, Jeremiah 51 and verse 2. Jeremiah 50, 51 and verse 2, man. You know what I'm saying? The Lord is using us this day to help set up a standard in this place, man. That's right. You know what I'm saying? To help uh, bring out. You see. 
Jeremiah 51 and verse 1. Book of Jeremiah chapter 51 verse 1. Uh -huh. Thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will raise up against Babylon uh -huh. and against them that dwell in the midst of them uh -huh. that rise up against me, mm -hmm. a destroying wind. A destroying wind. The Lord is raising us up this day to be a destroying wind against these, uh, these, these Babylonians, man. Against these Gentiles. Against you pastors. The Lord is raising us up this day to go against you for the things you have done to his people, man. He rising us up in these last and evil days to take back what belonged to him. Mm -hmm. To take back our people and destroy your foolish knowledge and your religion and your deception you have put on the people, man. Mm -hmm. huh. Right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Who are we, King? Look for what? I don't know. I'm just telling you about him. 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 I'm just telling you about and the sign or the one to come to pass. Right. Wherefore he spake unto thee, saying, Let us go after other gods which thou hast not known, and let us serve them. Thou shalt not hearken unto the words of that prophet or that dreamer of dreams. Uh -huh. For the Lord your God proveth you to know whether ye love the, the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul. Right. Ye shall walk after the Lord your God and fear him. Uh -huh. Right. And keep his commandments. And keep his commandments. And obey and obey his voice. And ye shall serve him and cleave unto him. Oh. Uh, so don't get messed up with these dreamers of dreams, man. These false prophesied pastors, man. You know what I'm saying? They're that prophesied deceit to you, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? The Lord says, stay away from those people, man. Stay away from that dream of dreams. Because your pastor always told me, I got a dream this. Uh, the Lord showed me that. The Lord showed me you have a big house, a, a husband, and he going to do whatever you say. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Those faith prophesied pastors, they have these dreams. Get away from them, man. Because the Lord said he's going he gonna to take down Babylon, man. Right. The Lord said we're not going to, you know what I'm saying, we're not going to really prosper here. There's not a place for us to prosper, man. Babylon is meant for us to be a detention center, man. A prison. This is supposed to be a hell for us, man. This is, not be, this is not a place for us to glorify and uplift. So the Lord is telling you, these pastors, get away from those dreamer of dreams, man. You know? Those that, that love to deceive the people with their false lies. Let's, let's bring it out. Jeremiah 51 and verse 12. Okay. And that's why the Lord got us today, right now, to set up the order back like it's supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? Got brothers across the world. Online, on, on whatever, whatever you can look at on social media, the Lord is raising back the Israelites to set up order back in his house. Look at that, King. Look at Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 12. Uh huh. Set up the standard upon the walls of Babylon. Come on. Make the watch strong. Do what? Make, Make the, the watch, watch strong. strong. Set up the watchmen. Prepare the ambushes. Come on. For the Lord has both devised and done that which he spake against the inhabitants of Babylon. Oh, the Lord has set up watchmen, and we are the watchmen. And we see our people, man. We see the things that's going on in our communities. We see the things that's going on in our nation of people. The Lord has set us as watchmen to set up the standard and watch and, and prepare an ambush for these pastors and for these wicked uh, Gentiles, man. You know what I'm saying? And this is the ambush right here. Hey, let me hit it. Bring that one more time. You're the first time. Bring that again. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Book of Jeremiah, chapter 51, verse 12 again. Uh huh. Set up the standard upon the walls of Babylon. Come. On. Make the watch strong. Make the watch strong. we telling our people that we're the Israelites. we watching for all the evilness that your pastor have done to our people. All the evilness our people are doing in society. we calling it out. That's right. we exposing it. You know what I'm saying? It's about Cat Williams exposing it. No offense, the brother's doing a good job. But the Lord is using the prophets up here to do it, man. Right. 
make the watch strong. Uh huh. Set up the watchmen. Prepare the ambushes. Prepare the ambush. We preparing the ambush against white supremacy, right. Christianity, right. Uh, Islam, and all your false religion, man. Right. And all your false, vain hope, all those dreams that your pastor told you to have, that he had. We set up an ambush against that thing, man. Tell you the truth what's about to happen to this place, man. Right. For the Lord hath both devised and done that which he spake against the inhabitants of Babylon. Oh, so the Lord have done that we he had prophesied what he gonna do to Babylon. And the Lord is doing it to today. He gathering all the nations. He bringing them all together. You know what I'm saying? War is at the brinks. You know what I'm saying? Hey, right now you have, uh, right now you have America going against Iran. You know what I'm saying? You know, you have, you have America going against Iran. These things are happening, man. The Lord is bringing about war on this planet right here, man. Right. These are all the things that the Lord has prophesied. He said it's going to happen. Verse 13. Bring it up. Book of Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 13. Uh -huh. O thou that dwellest upon many waters, Woo. Right. abundant in treasures, thine end is come, and the measure of that covetousness. Come on. Hey, you is talking about you, America, that uh, dwell upon many waters. You whore, America, the Lord is exposing you whores. You know what I'm saying? America's one big whore that's misleading the whole people. Right. You know what I'm saying? And, and T.D. Jakes and the rest of you pastors, man, you was up for You was who ran for America, man. You was who ran for Babylon. Mm. Now the Lord is exposing Babylon, man. Come on. You know what I'm saying? He is causing Babylon to be exposed. You whore of a nation, man. Come now, out, kid. The book of Psalms, chapter 85, verse 11. Bring it out. Truth Dang. shall spring out of the earth. Truth oh. shall spring out of the earth. Right. And righteousness shall look down from heaven. Woo! The truth is springing out of the earth right now, man. Right. And righteousness for heaven, man. Right now, you got brothers right now on every corner of America and online. On internet or whatever you see us at, we are springing out of the earth with truth and righteousness is coming from the heaven, man. Because the Lord authorized this thing, man. That's right. right. The Lord authorized this thing to happen, and we doing it to this day. Even though our people don't agree what we do, you are respected, though. That's right. You may not like it, but you're gonna respect it because the Lord put this thing in play, man. That's right. No matter how you try to knock against the brick, the Lord is breaking out Babylon, this place which you love so much. The Lord is exposing your wicked pastors. You know what I'm saying? The Lord is setting up the standard on the earth, man. You know? That's what's happening right now. The Lord is putting his people back in their proper order before your very eyes, man. The Lord of hosts, the book of Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 14. The Lord of hosts has sworn by himself, uh -huh. saying, surely, I will fill thee with men as with caterpillars, oh. and they shall lift up a shout against thee. Ooh. Hey, somebody Babylon right there, man. That's right. Hey, that's why the Lord is using those uh, Israelite migrants to come across that border. That's you know? right. They come across, they, I know you Texas, you want to stop them from coming. You know, say so you Edomites, you, you, you wicked devils. You trying to stop our brothers and sisters from coming across that border, but the Lord gonna fill this place with a bunch of caterpillars, man. You know what I'm saying? Oh. The, the Arabs, too, they gonna come over here. The Iranians, too. They gonna destroy this place, man. And some of Israel, too, from these other countries, man. Right. They gonna destroy Babylon for all your wicked doing, man. Right. You know, right down in Texas, hey, they got a big border, uh, uh, they, got, they got a border set up. You know, Trump put up his wall, but then now they put up more walls. Right. More borders across Babylon with razor, uh, what we call that thing? Um, yeah. What you call it? Razor? Uh, 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 right, yeah, razor yeah, barbed wire. Barbed wire. Come on. They put up barbed wire all across that gate to make sure you don't climb over nothing. Hey, they even got uh, people from Canada coming way down here, you know what I'm saying, to, to, to help block it, man, to help patrol it. I mean, you evil Edomites, man. You came and destroyed America, but now you hate it when somebody else come behind you and destroy it too. Right. Hey, the Lord sent those caterpillars on you, man. That's right. And that's your destruction right there, Esau. That's, right. that's going to be your destruction. Along with the stamp, where's going to be those nuclear missiles that the Lord going to use 
you going to blow your you going to blow your whole thing apart man right your whole nation going to be destroyed man you know you going to set this place ablaze you know hey Israel get yourself together hey you wicked pastors man stop misleading our people come out of them Christian churches man and, and Israel, run as far as you can from these wicked pastors, man. Right. Run away from these the, 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 uh, wicked prosperity, wait, fake prophesied pastors, man. Run far away, fast as you can. And with that, Kwame Asherah. Kwame Asherah.